there's a lot of rig gluing that gl that goes on in uh, in high-end production. You have one you have one rig here. You know you got motion capture. You want to glue to your motion capture. You want to transfer animation from an old rig onto a new rig. Just rig gluing is something that comes up a lot. So if if you want to get into that uh, kind of dark art of of rigging, I think I think it's important. Is uh, the first question is uh, constraining one chain to another because I'll tell you it's easy enough to go in here and just use pose constraints and and glue this part onto this other part or even if you have F, uh, IK chains to glue everything in it together in FK like if I go in here and here let's zero, zero that out if I go in here and I say uh, okay I'm gonna draw another chain here let's go in here so I'll go skeleton 2D chain my snapping I'm gonna turn on centers oops that's not a center there's a center Okay, so let's say I want to glue this chain, this chain right here to that other chain. Now, I'm going to use, actually I'm going to use the shadow, the shadow guys there. I'm just going to turn them all to boxes. Here, this is box. Here, I'll select them all. Here, I'll select everyone. I'll just go, you are, select child nodes. You are all box. Oh, I don't have a multi PPG. Hold on. <laughs> they're a little bit different. They all have different PPGs because they're different types of objects. The bones I can do in multi box. Okay, so I'm gonna change the color of these guys too. So this is the this IK chain here. I just made them all look like boxes. This IK chain, I want to. It's hard. Everything's everything's so colorful. Okay, this one is cyan, and and I'm gonna select select child nodes. I'm gonna make these ones. I like colors. You know, you gotta have things the right color. <laughs> you can't see what you're doing. Um, okay, come on. Okay, <laughs> so our rig is red. Our shadow chain is green. So right away, nothing is you know. Nothing's glued in at all. So if, of course, if I want to glue this in FK, I can just turn on constraint compensation, and go constrain, you know, constrain orientation, constrain orientation. I'm going to lock it in, but I'm not going to get my up vector out of that. I'm only going to be able to constrain a system that's driven in rotation. So if I want to constrain this in position, you go constrain. Okay, this one, this one is easy. I just go constrain compensation, constrain pose because I know I'm glued to some offset here on this hip or or this hip controller right here. This one is easy too. I know it's just a goal for an effector. So I'm just going to go constrain. I got constrain right onto that. So I move this around. Great. Everything's perfect. Seems like seems like life is good, but it's not good because uh, I'm slipping off of that thing. As this rotates around, see let's let's get into it. Uh, let's just take this up vector. I'm off plane. So if I want to get that plane, what I have to do, it's kind of neat. Here, let's go, let's go look at our uh, our critical zones for a minute. So what you've got in that plane is you've got a kind of three-point plane back here defining where that's spinning. But if you look at the front, you also have another three-point plane. So what you can do is just take that three-point plane at the front and use it to define where the three-point plane at the back should be. So you just go primitive, uh, implicit, let's just get a little cube here and use that as my marker. So this is going to be my marker of where the three point plane at the front is. So you go constrain, three points, I'll take this one, I'll take this one, I'll take this one right here. Ding. And so that now, that, that, oh, <laughs> not smart Michael. I got a constrain to the red one, that's the one I'm gluing to. Let's make it a little smaller. So now I'll do constraint three points. So constrain three points here, here, here. Ding. Okay, now I'm on plane. So wherever this goes, I'm defining that plane at the front. I can use this to define the plane at the back for this guy. So this guy is going to have a separate up vector. And let's say primitive no 
yeah, here's a separate up vector. Or even if that thing's driven IK, let's say the up vector starts off up here. So I go skeleton uh, chain up vector, bang. And all I have to do, as long as I, I start start in alignment, is just do a pose pose constraint, constraint pose to here, and that solves everything nicely. So now our up vector is always in our plane of move, movement of our other system. And that's that's basically it. That's how you constrain chains together in uh in FK. In IK, sorry.